Indians have never been reluctant to travel in search of opportunity, which is how South Africa has become part of the diaspora. The current generation shows all the get up and go of our predecessors, and Durban girl Sheena Deep Narayan knows her way around Mumbai and Moscow, as Michelle discovered. Whether she's wowing the crowd as an IPL cheerleader or chatting to international celebs as a producer and host of a lifestyle show, Sheena Deep Narayan knows how to catch the attention of her audience and keep them in the palm of her hand. She spread her wings and travelled to distant destinations, but Michelle was able to meet up with her when she returned to South Africa for a brief visit. American author T.D. Jakes once said, if you can't figure out your purpose, figure out your passion, for your passion will lead you right into it. Destined to be a performer, Shina Dipnarayan's passion has led her all the way from Durban to St. Petersburg in Russia. She's in her hometown as she oversees the final preparations of her biggest act yet. This was no routine makeup session, but actually a rehearsal for a milestone event. Hello, hello. Hi. How are you ladies doing? Good, thanks. And yourself? Already in a makeup chair, just jetted into the country. The life. <laughs> well, it is for a very exciting reason. Please share. Yes, so I'm getting married on the 25th of November. And Nadia is helping me do my makeup trial today. Well, you look absolutely beautiful and you are yeah. glowing. Sheena, how did he propose? Well, my fiancé is a very simple guy, the complete opposite to me. Um, so he just did it one day four years ago um, at supper. Well, now, how are the preparations coming along, especially now that you're back home? It's really exciting. I think now that we're getting closer to the date, everyone from family to friends are very excited. And um, This has made it real for me during the makeup trial. It's exhilarating and exciting and I just can't wait. I have so many questions and I'm so looking forward to spend the day with you. What do you have planned? Well, today my stylist Sharona is going to join us and she's going to help me put together looks for my next vacation, um, which is going to be in Dubai, which I'm also going to blog about in my blog, which is called Spot of Gold. So let's go meet her. Sounds amazing. Sharona, this is Michelle. Michelle, this is my amazing stylist, Sharona. Lovely to meet you. She's spoken absolute lovely words about you. Thank you so much. The pleasure is mine. Well, now we all want to look good when we travel, but there's only so much we can take with. What do you recommend? Take comfortable clothing, but at the same time, very elegant clothing that you could dress up. So simple, elegant and smart, but just comfortable because traveling, you want to always be in comfort. Well, I know you ladies want to try on a lot of clothing, so I'm going to leave you to it and I'll see you at the photo shoot. Awesome. See Thank you. Later. you. Sheena is also an accomplished actor and has appeared in some of South Africa's favorite soap operas, including the SABC One property, Generations. Anything for a girl to drink? Champagne. Is that the imported stuff? That's the real thing. Yes, but is it imported? If it's champagne, it's from Champagne in France. If it's from anywhere else, then it, it may not be called Champagne. As long as it's the expensive stuff, some people just don't get the difference. <laughs> With her makeup and wardrobe finalized, Sheena could focus her full attention on the camera and creating images for her blog. You live such a charmed life and Pot of Gold seems like the perfect name for your blog. What's it about? Who's it aimed at? When I decided to move to Russia, I needed a separate creative outlet from writing my screenplays. Something that was a bit more fluff and luxurious and something I can just have fun with. It's just about adding confetti to your life and no matter what kind of lifestyle, it's, it's surprising how you can just live your best life. How do you keep your readers hooked? I do have a good social media following from the time I started in the entertainment industry. So that has helped me a lot. I have started writing blogs more frequently and I find that Engaging frequently with your readers is very important. So regular blogs and social media pictures and that sort of thing. I think the best is if you see it yourself. So let me show you more about my blog. Oh, great. Usually my blog is relevant to what I'm currently doing. The latest blog that I posted just this morning before I came to this interview is um, my experience in Paris and 10 reasons why Paris is a bit of heaven on earth because it certainly is. Did you always know you wanted to be a performer? I think if anybody knows me from way back then, 
knows that I was definitely going to be in this industry because I was always the entertaining person and nothing's changed since then. And I always knew that I was going to be an actress. Not so much modeling, modeling just happened, but I definitely knew from a young age. I remember telling my older brother, I'm going to be an actress. And he was like, go for it. And I did. <laughs> Taking on the challenge of making a name for herself in the highly competitive entertainment industry. Having grown her own production company from the startup stage in 2016, she made the move to Moscow before settling in St. Petersburg. What sort of life have you created in Russia? I think it has been the most challenging experience for me personally, but I'm so glad I did it because I learned a lot about myself, diligence and just getting out of my shell. But one thing I love about Russia is the people. The people are the most wonderful people and have such integrity and such high respect for each other. Human value is placed on such a high regard. You spend a lot of time writing now. How's that coming along? The main reason why I decided to get up and leave and go to Russia was because I needed some quiet time and because when I was based in Joburg I was busy all the time and that's great but I never really had time to work on passion projects and you need a lot of time to sit down and write these scripts so what I'm basically doing in Russia is writing screenplays and working on that and when I come back to South Africa hopefully produce them. What do you miss most about Durban? Oh, there's so many things I miss. I miss my family, I miss my friends, but most of all, I miss the cuisine. And I'd like to invite you to come join me in tasting one of my favorite dishes of Durban, which is a good mutton curry. That sounds incredible. <laughs> With her wedding scheduled for November, Sheena's friends and followers on social media can't wait to be updated every step of the way. And then you'll just do the commute or you'll come off and okay that will be hello wow 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 what a treat thank you so much this looks incredible so this is what you miss when you're in russia yes a good lamb curry is my absolute favorite what do you see for yourself in the future i'm back in south africa in september so i'm looking forward to that i'm going to be based in south africa again and just concentrate on the wedding and then early next year start producing the screenplays i've been working on Shall we indulge? Let's do it. Bon appetit. Oh, awesome. This is home. Home food. Sheena Best describes her life as one wrapped in luxury with confetti thrown over for good measure. Having spent the day with her, I can confirm it is. <laughs> <laughs>